Hello loves, thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Aries. The Five of Wands to me gives very much like here, witches brew. This is like gossip, it's envy, it's jealousy, it's chaos, it's conflict. Um, it's competition. It's all of those things here. The sun, this sun energy could be your energy where you're in this happy. I just heard delightful like energy. Um, there could be an offer or an opportunity that's coming towards you. That's going to really, really bring about good fortune, good karma for you. Um, you could have someone who has their eye on you and they see you as wish fulfillment. All right. Um, just be, I guess it'd be mindful of that. There, there's always someone kind of lingering or lurking in the background here watching the blessings that are coming into your life the truth is favor isn't fair <laughs> three of cups here and then the hangman i feel like a lot of people are very much blown away by something exciting that's happening in your life this three of cups here it, it feels for sure like um you have something to celebrate this coming but to be honest with this three of cups i feel that you still have an energy of friends, family. This could be past lovers. It could be um, a co coven, a home. Era. It's a group, though, um, a community, whatever the case is here of individuals who it seems like they, they may want to see you be delayed. But th there's a very um, this is like a, a it's like a dual minded person for sure. Someone here is very hypocritical, very two-faced. Um, you need to be mindful of this energy. A lot of you have um, jealousy, envy coming towards you because of some type of divine contract that you have. Um, with like a soulmate or a twin flame, you could have a very amazing connection that's coming in that's going to allow you to move on to peaceful, calm water. Oh, yeah, for sure. The Knight of Cups is here. Then you have this Queen of Pentacles, the Two of Cups. You need to be careful for some of you of um, people coming around you with certain news, information, and even advice. This Queen of Pentacles here with the Two of Wands, the Eight of Pentacles. It seems like you may be working very hard right now on manifesting happiness and abundance. You're going to have to stand up for yourself, defend and protect yourself here because somebody is trying to cause some type of instability in your life before you receive justice in a partnership. Th this energy, to be honest with you, it's a very sneaky type of energy. Be very careful of like familiar or like monitoring spirits. Somebody is coming around you as if they have good intentions for you and they don't. Somebody can almost, I'm, I'm hearing, I can smell the success. This is an energy that knows for a sure fact that you've been working hard to manifest something. Either you're opening your heart up to some type of new opportunity. This two of wands here, it's like you're trying to decide should you go this way or this or that way. What I'm getting intuitively here for sure, because I'm thinking of another reading that I just did in the last few days. A lot of you right now, and this is coming to me very clearly. Your enemy, for some of you, you, you know for a sure fact there's an ex-lover or an ex-friend that has become like an, a hidden enemy of yours. The enemy overall is having a difficult time with getting through to you, sabotaging things. So now the enemy is going to use any person that's close to you to try to sabotage you. Be very careful of that. It's like somebody who has this, this personal vendetta against you that keeps trying to sabotage your life because they're having difficulty with doing that. They're now trying to send something or someone else in to either gather information or to cause you, like I said, to juggle. Somebody wants you to feel like also like you're being juggled in a situation. There's a huge illusion here, and this is a lot to, to cause heartbreak and some type of interference. Something in your life is going good. You're about to celebrate. However, there's someone in your life currently or from your past, or however it, this works, Somebody is, is interfering and they want you to, like I said, have instability. Somebody definitely wants you to feel like you're being juggled. Yeah, five of wands. This is pure jealousy.
the five of wands is falling under the, the three of cups whoever this group of friends these family members or whatever is going to be exposed here it's like you have this extremely beautiful like connection or opportunity that's coming in your life it could be business it could be romantic whatever it is you have a bunch of people that are like sitting around gossiping um possibly trying to assassinate your character slander your name um to be honest like this is someone that is just lying on you at this point and they're trying to get other people to support them look oh my gosh look <laughs> seven of swords three of pentacles and then the five of swords here with the nine of swords whoever the ringleader is of this group that's been trying to stir up all of this drama okay this queen of wands could be involved here this person here had a plan to somehow go behind you're back to sabotage something in your life. Keep in mind, this could have already happened or it could be happening now. This was like a, a group effort. It was teamwork. It was collaboration. These people had like, it was Operation Destroy Divine Feminine Divine Masculine. This was the whole plot. This didn't work though. These people could definitely be a part of some type of secret society. Like I said, where they've done maybe some type of ritual or whatever the case is. This has backfired and whoever the person is that was the ringleader of this, they're very stressed out now. I feel strongly like someone has tried to do some type of breakup um spell love magic somebody has tried to do something to cause instability juggling um i heard even infidelity or something in a very divine sacred like connection by interfering and it backfired here this is some weird jezebel energy that wanted to yeah they were manifesting an ending this person was manifesting that someone will walk away actually that this person wanted a person to ghost you so someone has like a friend family member or an ex that has been doing something in the background in hopes that you will walk away from someone that you will ghost them or this person will walk away from you and ghost you with the hermit and the eight of cups here yeah this is also is eight and nine august and, and september Okay, the Ace of Cups is here. When one door closes, another one opens. Somebody thought that if they got a person, if they got you to walk away from someone, that you would open the door to them. Or if they got this person to walk away from you, then that person would then go and open a door with them. Again, this is retrograde type of energy. This situation is not going to happen, though. Something here is, is remaining balanced. I feel like some of you already have a situation that is in balance. And someone, again, they're trying to come in okay and interfere in this connection it could be a friend family member an ex-lover it could be all of the above some of you you literally have friends and family that are ganging up trying to cause interference in your love life but this is someone who really has someone is using their resources to this queen of wands person this individual is using their resources this person could for sure have virgo and fire in their chart they could have um leo aries sagittarius virgo heavily aspected in their chart this person is waiting on an ending they're waiting on you and someone to ghost one another so that they can come in and somehow try to get this this relationship that they want this person is not backing down they are very much invested in bringing an end to a situation but this connection it is your karmic justice therefore whatever someone is trying to do to break it up is not going to happen Somebody, you know, I don't know if they've done magic or or they've been doing a, a lot of manifestation work, but it's just not going to work. This person definitely could be using um, something when it comes to like these different portals because 7-7 seven, seven is here. 5-5. Five, five. So this person here may have been doing something like 5-5, oh, five, five, the 7-7 seven, seven portal. Okay, this person is using energy. This is someone who is, you know, definitely trying to get their resources together and manifest. If, in order for this person to have a, a certain beginning in their life, in a relationship, they have to cause an ending for you. I don't know if you're already with a particular person. Okay, so someone could know that you're either with someone or that someone is interested in you. They're either trying to end what you and this person already have or they want to shut it down before it even gets started. So just be careful. Three of swords. Yeah, the temperance here. This is all about you having peace, balance, and harmony. Six of cups here and the emperor. Wow. And here is the ace of swords. So there's an extremely beautiful breakthrough that many of you are having. This is this, um, like, 
earth angel, shamanic like past life soulmate, twin flame counterpart that you have. This person is going through an awakening. You're going through an awakening. You guys are clearing away karmic debts. Everything is being balanced out. You have self-control. You're doing things in moderation or this masculine is choosing to do things in moderation. But you have a person here that just cannot let this situation go. They cannot get over the fact that this person is moving on heavy, heavy, airy Sagittarius energy here. With the Emperor and the Temperance card being out here. But see, there is a masculine out here who is not easily shaken. This person is not going to be easily broken. Somebody definitely did some type of separation spell or something on you and someone possibly. And it's not working. The Wheel of Fortune is still turning here. Six of Pentacles. Somebody is still going to offer you equal give and take. Okay, your connection is actually going to ascend to a higher level of commitment because whatever someone did in the background is going to backfire. Somebody's biggest burden here, this three of swords, somebody is really, really carrying a lot of heartache and pain due to the fact that this, it seems like a masculine, and keep in mind, divine masculine could be male or female. Somebody has turned their back on a connection and they're taking their love, their an offer in a new direction and it has someone furious this person is not willing to let whoever this divine masculine is go okay it could be a divine feminine but i'm picking up more so a masculine yeah because there's a new option here the lovers this person is jealous and envious and they have a group of people who are jealous and envious about the fact that someone has chosen a new lover. So for some of you, if you have a new relationship, someone has discovered who you are and they're very upset about it. Okay, they, they, they may not have just recently discovered who you are. What they have discovered is that the connection between you and this masculine has great potential. Okay. I'm hearing some of you, you don't even know all of the potential that you, this masculine is coming forward. Okay. And they want to move on to peaceful, calmer waters with you. Knight of Cups, Queen of Cups. Yeah. This person definitely, they want to come in, but the Ten of Swords, someone is trying to have you in the Ten of Swords. They want you to be deceived. They want you hurt, you know, and, but it looks like whatever this Ten of Swords is, like I said, with this jealousy, envy, hatred whatever somebody here is is sending out to you all it actually did was expedited this wish fulfillment because now you're free from a situation judgment and the four of wands somebody whoever you are you're so protected and whoever this is that keeps attacking you what they have not realized yet is that every single time they attack you they push you closer and closer into your own divine justice and your destiny Okay, and your destiny, it may for sure include a person that was once in the life of this person. Or if someone is doing this to you and whoever your new love interest is, what they don't realize is that by sending all of this negative energy towards these divine feminines and masculines who are about to cross paths and meet one another, all these individuals are doing is creating more opportunities for you guys to be even more blessed and highly favored. Because it looks like you guys are really, really fighting these attacks really well. Um, you're keeping your guard up. You're being very smart about the situation. Okay. Mindful of how, like I said, you react and you respond. You know, it, there's no point in letting this projection, this evil eye, whatever it is, um, get you upset. Yeah, because someone here is working very, very hard. In hopes that someone will miss an opportunity because you have the divine feminine here. Somebody does not want this masculine. They're working so hard. This person is paranoid. They're angry. They're jealous. They're upset. All right. And I feel like this divine masculine is very like tired of whatever this situation is. Okay. Feeling very discontent and bored. These people are also doing work to make this masculine feel discontent and bored so that the masculine will feel that they're discontent and bored because of this divine feminine. This is an illusion though, and it's going to backfire. Somebody wants to paint the picture that everything that's happening in this divine masculine side, it's because of their connection to divine feminine. Or this could be a, you could be divine feminine. Somebody is trying to create the illusion that the reason why things in your life are happening is because of this divine masculine. No, it's because you have these jealous friends and family around you that are trying to convince you that something in your life that's actually very good for you 
is wrong and it's simply because they don't want to see you be happy so just be careful because you definitely have some some trickster deceptive like energy around you at this time yeah page of cups somebody wants to come in with an offer two of pentacles nine of cups king of wands here's the ace of wands This feels like a new energy just got introduced to the reading. Eight of Swords. Let me tell you why this King of Wands is out here. And you have the Ace of Wands out here. This person, there's a lot of Wands energy. The Nine of Cups is out here. This person, um, and I said before, I'm picking up a lot of Fire energy, Aries, Sagittarius like energy. Leo could be out here as well. You have the Page of Cups and the Two of Pentacles. This King of Wands person with this Ace of Wands, this might be someone who at some point, they were not as noble as they are now. For some, for some of you, you're dealing with the person that's King of Wands. They get what they want. They know what they like and they get what they like. Okay, this person is someone who may come off like they are very hard. I'm not going to say they come off. I feel like this person is hard to please. I feel like this person is hard to please. Okay, they're hard. Yeah, they're hard to please. But they can see this divine feminine who they really like. This is causing problems. This person could have had a family with someone, okay? But what I know for a sure fact is that this person wants to offer a family and a serious connection to this divine feminine, all right? This is not someone who was always... Um, this person in the past, maybe even the, the, the very, like recent past, this is not the type of person who really wanted to commit or this is someone who has always wanted to commit, but they're only willing to commit to a certain person. And whoever this person is in the background that is constantly attacking this divine feminine is upset because they cannot get this person to commit to them. Somebody is very much upset because they're like, I don't understand why this, how this divine feminine managed to get this person. Somebody is walking themselves in a trap. And a person, if someone has been trying to get, um, for some of you, somebody keeps trying to somehow affect your financial security and stability, all right? Or they're trying to affect like your finances or the finances of this person. Somebody is just always in the background doing work on a situation, but this is about to become clear. And who it is, it's this Queen of Wands. Let me tell you who this Queen of Wands... This Queen of Wands is someone's ex-wife. This is like an ex-wife. Two of Pentacles. I don't even feel like this person is relevant. The Queen and King of Wands is out here now. This is a very, very karmic connection. This Queen of Wands keeps showing up. She could be... She could definitely have Leo in her chart. This person cannot get over the fact that this masculine wants nothing to do with them. They can't get over it. This could have been a connection here that for some of you, it's it's at least, I don't even know. This is not like a recent connection. And Spirit is telling me specifically, this man does not deal with this person. That's why it's so weird. This man is, does not deal with this queen. Everything that this queen of wands does is in the background with the help of friends and family. This person is in the background getting their like friends and family or she's paying some type of little coven or something like that to do work on this king of wands. Somebody is trying everything in their power to manifest someone back. But I feel like this is a very old relationship. Okay. This is like someone's ex-wife uh ex-husband girlfriend but i don't even think it's like a recent ex this is somebody from anywhere between five to eight years ago that wants a passionate new beginning now 
I, and I'm I'm getting like a whole story. This is someone who has not been able to find love since someone left them or since they left someone behind. Now that they have grown somewhat, but they really haven't grown because they're obsessed. So obviously you, you haven't grown or become awakened at all. This person wants to get someone back, but the person that they want back has already chosen someone that they want to be in a serious relationship with. And they're not backing down. Like, they're not taking no for an answer. The weird part about it is, again, this individual is not in the life of this person that they are attacking. This is someone who is just in the background constantly trying to manifest someone back into their life. And now that they've discovered that the person is interested in this divine feminine, they're sending attacks and bad energy towards this divine feminine. It's really a lot because... This King of Wands energy is someone who could have been greedy or even lustful when they were in a connection with this Queen of Wands. It was a connection based on, it was a, a surface level connection. It was based on passion and lust. This person loves someone now. And the individual, th this karmic, she, she, he or she wants to get back in the life of someone and it's just like, it's not working. This could be a, a man doing this to a divine feminine as well. It just seems like when it comes to the divine feminine and masculine collective, especially those who are going into divine partnerships with this retrograde energy, people from your past, I mean your deep, deep past, they want to they want a second chance with you now. Okay? Here's the divine feminine, the empress, and you have the king of pentacles and the king of wands, the two of wands and the hierophant. You have somebody out here who is t thinking about taking action, going towards marriage or very serious commitment. But it's like there is a masculine, more than one masculine trying to get to this one divine feminine. Divine feminine is also being attacked because the masculine who is choosing you has a karmic feminine that is trying to manifest them back into their lives. There's a lot of illusions right now around these divine partnerships. And, and again, it's just, to me, the way these people are in the background doing all of this magic and manipulation, and it's constantly backfiring. Yeah, Ten of Wands. You would think by now, like, they would stop. The Ten of Wands here in the hangman. Somebody here doesn't realize that they're hurting themselves constantly by trying to change the destiny of someone else. Look at this. It's because it is not going to change. The sun, the temperance, the four of wands, and the emperor. Well, here we have the emperor and the temperance. There's a Sagittarius or Aries person out here. And this person is for sure going, they're offering marriage, commitment, and true love to this divine feminine. Look at that ace of pentacles. They're like, like nobody can stop this masculine from offering this commitment to this divine feminine. Yeah, a cycle here is over, but somebody here is spiritually growing and evolving and healing. This King of Wands here, uh, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, this person has found the one. And that's just what it is. Because they found the one, everybody is trying to attack this masculine to throw them off of their course so that they will go back to something that doesn't serve them. But I don't, this, this, this man is standing his ground. Or, or feminine, feminine, male, female, feminine, masculine. Somebody here is not backing down. They're going to have victory and success. Wait, wow, look at this. This person is making this offer to this divine feminine no matter what. And this, this has someone devastated. I feel like there's a karmic masculine out here who still wants to be in this energy of this divine feminine. This person is sick because they're being destroyed in the spirit. They can't do anything about this Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, this earth angel like divine masculine that's going to give the world to this divine feminine. Whoever the karmic mask, there's a karmic masculine and a karmic feminine out here that keep trying to stop and block and offer 
like like this union of these two souls and it's just not happening it's literally two people who are coming together who both have exes spiritually attacking them and trying to manifest them back into their lives Th this connection has already been spiritually like arranged in, in spirit like as above so below somebody is already married in spirit and whoever this divine masculine and feminine are that have connected, they're not letting go of each other. I mean, seriously, like you literally have the sun, the emperor, you have the empress out here, the temperance and the four of wands. So first of all, you have a divine feminine and masculine out here who probably have a contract and they're supposed to come together and bring love and light to the world, maybe even have a child together. These two individuals are spiritually elevating, growing, evolving, healing, graduating, and they're actually going to become the high priestess and the temperance together. Where's the temperance card? Oh, here we go. When they come into union, they're going to go through yet another spiritual awakening where this is a spiritual union here of, of two earth angels. But this marriage has already taken place in spirit. Something about this connection is, is sacred, but it's also secretive. People don't realize that they keep attacking two people who are already married in spirit. So it's like whatever you're doing here on the earthly realm or even in the spirit realm to attack these two individuals who have brought, been brought together by God, it's not going to work. These two people are destined to have this partnership. It's it's all here. The cards don't lie. Six of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. Nobody is going to stop these two people from having this very blessed and abundant future together. These two people, they've crossed the burning sands to meet one another to have love. Nobody can stop this. So at this point, everything that these individuals are doing is, is truly just a, a total waste of their time. Look, the Knight of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. It doesn't matter how long it has taken for this offer to get to this person. This masculine and this feminine are about to exchange pentacles with one another. And it's going to be life changing. The death card is here with the star. Their whole lives are going to change. They're going to have the lives that they dreamed of by making an offer to one another. And that's just what it is. And all of the drama is because this masculine has left somebody behind. This person is in this masculine's distant past. For a lot of people who resonate with this, this is not like a recent ex. This is a, a masculine who left someone behind nearly 10 years ago and the person wants to rush back into this masculine's life now because they see that this person has become divine. This person wants to reconcile or you could be divine feminine. Somebody could have walked away from you, okay? They could have walked away from you and left you behind you had to grow and heal well now that your wheel of fortune is here this good karma is here this person wants to rush in and somehow try to reconcile with you the same thing is hap look but it's it's just not going to happen because somebody is trying to rush in and reconcile but you already have the union here <laughs> eight of wands justice this is like Cupid's arrow has already struck. The energy of your counterpart is already here. And they're not letting go. Four, they're not letting go. Whoever your divine counterpart is, they're here. I don't care what anybody does or says. They're not letting you go or you're not letting this person go. Crazy thing is some of you, you haven't even met this person yet. But... Something has happened in the physical where it's like something is just destined. It's written in the stars. There's one person that you're supposed to be with. Literally, you have the two of cups that came out and behind it was the queen and the king of cups came out together. You have the emperor and the empress here with the sun. This is a very pure connection. Like I said, it's, it's rooted in love and light. And when you and this person come together, th there's a, a sacred divine calling and mission that you and this person, you have with one another. So now, 
again, everything that people are doing to attack this union, it just, it does not matter. It doesn't. They're doing nothing but wasting their time. Their time. They're just racking up karma. And the more that they do to work against you and this individual, the closer that they push you to one another. Yeah, watch out. Jealousy, envy, gossip. Somebody is trying to stand in the way of you having this connection. And it's your exes. You and someone both have very jealous, envious, bitter exes that are trying to stand in the way of this connection. It could even be friends and family. And it, it makes no difference. Like, it's not changing anything. First time. This is this person's first time truly being in, wow, yin and yang. But people want you and this individual to be at odds with one another. This is the first time this person has experienced this type of love. And what they're experiencing now is yin and yang. Like, you, you and this person are mirrors to one another. You are each other's spiritual half. Like, they're completely aligned with you emotionally, spiritually, everything. Like, you are everything that the other person wants. I'm not saying that the situation is perfect, but this is a, it's a beautiful connection. It's, it's a part of your, your good karmic justice. This person is tied to your karmic justice. Some of you could have reached like this person could be. I'm I'm actually hearing too. You may not have been my first, but you'll be my last. Yin and Yang. I'm telling whoever this is, they're like I don't. They don't care what's happening. They're not leaving you. If you're afraid that somebody's gonna leave you, this person is not leaving you. It doesn't matter. This person literally will leave their friends, their family, church. They'll leave everything behind. For the love that they have with you. They, they're they not leaving you. <laughs> Ecstasy. <laughs> and very soon life partner. You and this person. You're each other's safe place. There's a lot of deception and betrayal. That someone is finding out about. Like I said, when it comes to their friends, their family, or in their community, and all it's going to do is make this person trust you even more. I'm here to say, I trust you with my life. This person will trust you with everything because on this journey of them meeting you and getting close to you, the spiritual attacks is it's just revealing to you and this person that you cannot trust a lot of people who have been around you. Yeah, vivid dreams. Someone is having vivid dreams about people attacking them and that's the reason why they're coming to you very soon you're their safe place you're the only person that they know they can actually like trust or this is how you feel physical touch so if some of you if you if this is more of a spiritual connection you haven't met this person they will soon physically be in your arms yeah fate it's faded here Some things may not always be clear. They may not make sense. There's a lot of illusions here, but this connection overall, it is faded. And you know it is because no matter how much confusion, chaos, competition, jealousy, envy, or whatever is being thrown at you and this person, even when the two of you are, are at odds about certain things, there's a certain type of peace. That you and this person, this is your peace. It's your safe place. This, it bring, this connection brings you ecstasy. This masculine is definitely tapping into their heart space. Their heart chakra is opening. This masculine, because I can hear, this person has a lot to say about how much they trust this divine feminine. Like this masculine is in love. I mean, deeply, deeply in love. And this person, it feels like they are, they're being, um, I don't want to say like encouraged, but this person, they're becoming even more passionate about pursuing this divine feminine because they're, they see how challenging this connection is. You know how people say, 
you know, men, especially they love the thrill of the chase. The chase of this divine, this is so interesting because this person can see, for one, this connection, it has caused a, a spiritual awakening. Every single person is, is going against this feminine and this masculine because they're coming together. It's, so, it's sort of like you have to know at some point that if you're being attacked this much, it has to be because you've met your person. Okay. Now, please be discerning. Some of you are being constantly attacked because you keep trying to make it work with the wrong person. But for some of you, you will know if this person brings you total peace. You have no chaos or conflict with this person. All of the chaos and conflict is around you, outside of you. It's because these people, they know about how much favor is upon this connection. They know about the anointing in and around and on you and this person, both individually as well as together. But something is about to change very soon. Very soon, something is changing. Let's pull a few of these. And this, this has everyone mad. I mean, really mad. <laughs> this masculine is so in love. Oh, wow. What I say? <laughs> Marriage. I just said, I'm like this, because I can hear it. He's, he's just like... Wow, I, I just keep it so, so wow. This person is literally speechless. Like, this person is, is speechless. When it comes to this divine from they're speechless. And they take so much pride in being able to marry this divine feminine. Like, this person... is putting their, their pride, their ego, and everything aside. Like, they're working on... Self-worth, self-esteem, because I feel like this is someone who in the past definitely, um, they were under the impression that there was nobody for them. Like they could not be satisfied by one person or a particular person or whatever. It's because they had not dealt with themselves. This person has made a lot of changes in their own life and now they know what they want. Yeah, this person here is planning to marry someone. This person may be saving. Look, this this masculine is like imagining the day that they can buy a house, create a home. Like they're saving money. They're creating plans, strategies, and everything. Yeah, look at this. Alliance, alliance is here and then eternal love. And then idea, goal. Yeah, perseverance. This person, the only thing that they are thinking about right now is having this union with this divine feminine. Or just doing any and everything that it takes to ensure that they can have a union. This person is really building. Like, they're taking all of the proper steps. And I feel that everyone that this, this masculine has been with for sure... It's heavy emphasis on this divine masculine. Now, this could be happening to a divine feminine too, but right now I'm getting so much energy from the masculine. This masculine's decision to be committed to this divine feminine has everyone upset. I feel like this person is burning their little black book. I mean, like, it's gone. It seems like somebody has even done a ritual <laughs> of their own where they're cleansing and clearing our old soul ties and cutting cords. And everyone that they're cleansing, purging out and, and cutting cords with can really feel it. Look at this, karmic partner came out. So all of someone's karmic partners right now, all of the past life ties and everything is like, 
at a y'all I cannot make this up. Remember I said like Leo, Aries, Sagittarius with that King of Wands here? Look at this. You have celebration, good karma. You have here fire, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. We are in Leo season right now. Union coming together, guidance. All right. There's a fire sign out here, a fire sign masculine that's going towards a divine feminine. And your spirit guides and angels, they're supporting you and they're telling you to just trust the process. This person had more than one choice in love and they for sure chose you. And spirit is saying, yes, it is safe for you to love. Why? Because the person that you are desiring right now, well, I'm not. let me not say that because I know some people take everything to heart and, and don't always discern. Your true twin flame would like to propose marriage to you. All right. This person is learning lessons right now about self-growth. They, they're healing. They're developing. They're healing their inner child. They're doing shadow work. All right. Um, this person, at some point, they could have had multiple options. They don't want anybody else but you. Redemption. They don't want anybody but you. And this person is determined to marry you. This is somebody they don't want to come in and play. Get to know. No, this person wants to marry you. Just th that's it. That's all. They want to marry you. And I feel that someone has m made mention of this. Somebody has told maybe their parents, a sibling, a friend that they. For some of you, you have to know this person. This person has told individuals that they can see themselves marrying you. And I feel like this information has gotten out to the wrong person or people. Oh my goodness. My ears just started ringing so bad. Yeah. It's something here about gossip. It's some people talking about the fact that there is a person who wants to offer you a commitment. I feel like a masculine has sat down and told, I'm picking up a sister. This is very specific. I feel like a masculine has told their sister that they are interested in marrying a divine feminine or just being in a serious relationship. Um, this information has gotten out to somebody. You know how some people, you know, um, their siblings are you know, maybe still cordial with like their ex partners or this is a group of friends, their mutual friends. Somebody has made it known that they want to be committed to possibly marry a person and they didn't realize that they were talking amongst in a group where there was for sure a snake in the group. So I would say for some people too, to be very careful, you could be telling someone that how much you really like a person, they're going in the background trying to sabotage your connection. For some of you, this already happened. For some of you, this already happens. You, you told someone you were interested in someone or someone told a person that they were interested in you. I feel like this connection was, was sabotaged. Because of gossip, drama, envy, jealousy, and so many other things, this person wants to come back around now to redeem themselves. They meant what they said when they said they wanted to marry you, but somebody did a lot of work to destroy a connection. And there's a situation where some of you it's like this person wants to come around now to redeem themselves, but you, this could be a past person, but you have no love. For some of you, you have someone fairly new in your life. When you first met them, they weren't that serious about you. Now that they see how you've been tested and tried in this situation, they know that you're true. They want to marry you now. Whoever you are, you could have someone from the past. Or someone fairly new in your life. 
Somebody did not know in the beginning that this situation will become what it is. I feel like because of the spiritual warfare that you and this person have, have gone through and the spiritual awakening that has taken place with you and this person over a long period of time or a short period of time, it doesn't matter. Somebody knows for 100% fact that you are their person. And I feel like they have made it known to other people. This is like, I mean, this is a conversation where somebody's like, I don't care what you think. I'm going to be with that person. Somebody has had a conversation about you. And someone has tried to talk this person out of making you this serious commitment. And they're letting it be known that they don't care what anybody has to say. They're like, I will stop talking to all of you. If you don't like this person that I'm choosing, I will stop talking to each and every last one of you. But you will not stop me from going into this union. Somebody knows the blessings oh, and the favor that comes with them being in a certain union. And it, it feels like a person has almost had some type of spiritual encounter of some sort where they just, I don't know if this person saw you in a dream or what, but yeah, wish fulfillment. Look at that wish fulfillment and their rejection. Somebody is just like, they're willing to reject anything and, and any person that would, may possibly block them from being happy. And their happiness <laughs> is with you or this is how you feel about someone there's so much love and passion here and somebody's like no i'm just leaving behind what doesn't serve me no more somebody is leaving a bunch of narcissistic people around this could be an ex-lover like i said a family or whatever but somebody's like no i'm leaving and somebody is leaving everything behind to pretty much like be with the love of their life yeah within a few months there's a very jealous like person here Someone is very jealous and they've been holding back. They want to say that they're sorry. These are these exes that are lingering in the background that have been trying to keep you bound to them somehow. They now they're sorry because the things that they've been doing in the dark have not worked and it's now backfiring on them. Something here is complicated. It has been confusing. But somebody did that on purpose because you're about to receive a major blessing here. Whoever this is that's been in the background, they're going to be exposed. I don't know if they're going to actually come for themselves, but they are going to be exposed. And for some of you, it's time for you to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with your person of interest. And when you do that, your connection is going to move forward at a very rapid pace. You and this person may even tra like travel together. Okay, they're going to express to you, though, that they really want to be loyal to you, that they've been going through some type of spiritual awakening. They see everything for what it truly is, but they know for a sure fact that I'm hearing my purpose is to love you. Again, this could be someone from your past that realizes that someone sabotaged your connection and they're coming back around. Or is someone who has had a lot of problems with getting a connection off the ground with you because they're realizing that once people found out that they were interested in you, people started to try to sabotage your connection. This person may not be coming back around, but they want a fresh start with you where they can show you that they truly want to pursue you and only you. Whatever this is, whether it's a past person or a new person, they are going to pursue you and you will have peace of mind. All right, but look at this secrets and brotherhood, toxic behaviors. Somebody has a bunch of drama. There's a bunch of toxicity and some secrets here. Somebody told a friend or a family member something about a relationship and it created a bunch of drama. And this secret is about to come out. This could be like a, a I mean, brotherhood is out here. So somebody could have been respecting, you know, the opinions of a friend, a family member, or even their brother, not knowing that that, bro that individual was secretly hating on them and causing drama because they wanted to pursue someone that they were, that they really, really was happy with. Somebody told like their bro about them wanting to marry someone and that person has been in the background trying to destroy this union. For some, somebody did destroy it. Now this person wants to come back. 
But it's like, why would you be so immature to let someone talk you out of a connection with a divine feminine or masculine? Some of you, this person is going to come back around, but there, somebody new is here. Whoever, whoever, whatever this is, you will know. Okay. Because you're about to see a situation clearly or whoever this is, they're about to see something clearly. And what they're hoping is that you will have compassion for them. There's somebody that just, they keep watching you from afar. They, they hope that if they were to come and tell you this about what happened, that you would accept them back. I, I don't know. It's, some of you, it's, like I said, it's a new person. For some of you, it's an, it's an older person. But someone is secretly yearning for you. And for some of you, this is a fairly new person. Again, they have some type of friend, a family member, or an ex-lover, someone in their life that has been in the background creating drama. Somebody told this person that they didn't need it, that they did not need to pursue you. Okay? And... I'm not going to say that they listened to it, but I do feel like they considered it. They, they may not have pursued you the way that they should have or could have because they were listening to what their friends said. This is someone who, you know, it, they thought that the, their friends or their family were more important to you. But it seems like now this individual can see your loyalty and the, the truth is being revealed to them about these friends and family. They're realizing that the main person in their life that, like I said, has been tested, tried, and has proven to be true is you. Now, they're willing to drop everything and everyone to be with you. But this was a part of their spiritual awakening. It says here, your true love is already part of your life. So for some of you, this person is in your life. They're here and now. It could be a person that you're dealing with right now. And again, you may not have even been in a relationship with this person. And maybe the reason why is because somebody was, you know, whispered in this person's ear. Look, this could be someone right now in your life friendship. This friendship is leading to more. Somebody is already in your life, in your energy or around you. But look, both people are going through a spiritual transformation. You guys have to learn the truth about the people that are surrounding you. And understanding that in this kingdom marriage, a lot of people are, wow, I promise I did not see this card say marriage when I just said kingdom marriage. People are so jealous and envious of the fact that you're going into an actual kingdom marriage. This person's love, the chemistry and everything else between the two of you, it's mutual. You both want more. And this could definitely lead to marriage. But everything happens for a reason. And like I said before, like with the emperor and the empress here, for some of you, because child is here, children, children are important to this relationship. Some of you, you and this person, you are indeed meant to be married and have a child. Okay. Everything happens for a reason. Time alone or in nature will help you to recharge. Take time. This is something you need to take time to get to know this person. If this is someone right now that's like a friend in your life, or even if it's a past lover that's coming back, you need to get to know them now. Because something about you and this person has drastically changed because both of you are going through an awakening or you've gone through a major spiritual transformation, whether you, you did it together or apart. Something here is different. Because someone now is, they're marriage minded. If you dated this person before and it was like friends with benefits, it was casual. They want marriage now. So they want to present themselves to you as like a life partner. Wow. This is leading to marriage. You have two cars of marriage out here. It is 100% leading to marriage. The emperor, the empress, and the son is out here. You and this person will have a very bright future together. And for many of you, you and this person will have a child together if you are of childbearing age. And this connection is going to be rooted in friendship. 
and everything has tried to break you and this person away from one another. It's not working. And for some of you, you may be confused because like if this is someone fairly new in your life, you may just be like, wow, we have such great chemistry, right? But it seems like you can't get this connection off of the ground. You have to accept that everything that was happening for a reason. Some of you may realize that somebody came into your life and all of a sudden, like your spiritual attacks just got really bad. It's because this is your person. And for some of you, this is a future prediction. You're going to know. But your commitment is being tested. You may really be trying to figure out why are you going through so much with this person? To the point you may assume that like it's a karmic connection. No. It, for some of you, that's not the case. It's not that it's karmic. It's the fact that it's so divinely guided and blessed that so many people are attacking it. But they wanted to create the illusion for you that this person is your karmic or that you're karmic. No, the karmics are projecting their energy onto you and this, this person because you're destined to be in an actual union. Wow, look. Bring love into the situation. New moon in Aquarius. Communication is key. Yeah, some of you, you and this person, you're going to have to take accountability for your actions and have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Believe in the impossible. Somebody may need to apologize to you too because they let their pride get in their way at some point. Full moon and Leo is here. This person let their pride and ego get in their way and they were taking advice from the wrong people. And I feel like somebody here, especially a masculine, this person is being humble because they were taking advice from their bros and the bros that they were taking advice from now can't even help them. It's the divine feminine energy that this person is clinging to right now and they're realizing, wow, I should have been listening to divine feminine the whole time because they've been betrayed. But this person needed to learn this. Yeah, the end of a tough cycle approaches full moon in Capricorn. This person needed to learn the truth about the people that they held so near and dear. They, this this is someone who has just, and this I'm picking up a man, very naive and gullible when it comes to friendship. This person th thinks that, that, you know, their friends could do no harm or do no wrong. This person is about to find out the hard way that they have a very, very jealous, envious person. That they're, even their own brother could be very jealous or envious or somebody that they see as a brother. Somebody does not want this individual to be married, happy, in this commitment. And they definitely have a problem with this divine feminine. It almost feels like someone's friend feels like divine feminine is going to take their friend away from them. Because whoever this masculine is, is very into this divine feminine. So Divine Feminine, you have a masculine who has a best friend or a brother that is very jealous of you. <laughs> they, like they have an ex-wife or girlfriend. That's a problem. But they also have a very like jealous, envious friend as well. It's like, I, I just, I don't know why everybody always gangs up on Divine Feminine. It's really weird.